It's a little cloudy today. The sun's making a bit of a crack and it's supposed to shower today. But if it stays the course like it used to, it'll be this afternoon. I'm taking a chance because I'm just walking out and about with my sandals on and just my shirt, my two shirts. So I'm taking a chance that I'm not gonna get wet. How's that for just brave? Wanna see this shirt? See how wet it is right there? I found a couple of spots on the front. So I went to the bathroom and I tried cleaning it off. Basically all I did was get the front of my shirt wet. I think the spots are still there. Hey, I'm a pilgrim. I'm allowed to be dirty, right? <laughs> I can't see it when I'm walking, so it's not dirty. Just for fun and to kill time, because they're house cleaning and my uh, seminarial man of Albergate. I'm walking down this street till I get to uh, <laughs> another street. I, I know the name of it, I just can't think of it right now. And I'll hang a, hang a left and go check out the bus and train station because the, the bus station is now by the train station where four years ago it wasn't. And just for the heck of it, I want to see what it looks like. I don't plan on taking them, but for future reference, I might add another, another Camino if I do another one. So, yeah, it's a nice morning. Okay, it's not raining on me, so it's a nice morning and it's not cold. So here we go. And here it is, the Santiago de Compostela bus station and train station. Well, that's the train station. And the bus station is this new part. All in the same area, which makes way more sense. And you can rent cars. So it makes more sense than having one be on one end of town and one being on the other. So it was a brilliant move on this town in the city to do that. And they're still working on it. They're still building. I'm going to go investigate now. I believe this is the way to the bus station. Yeah. That's what it looked like online anyway. And this is where everybody's walking. Pretty cool. Walking over the train tracks. See? And if you can see it through the grating. This is where the bus is. Information back there. This is a nice big terminal. Nice and clean. Of course it's brand new. I don't know, a couple of years maybe? I don't know how long it's been here. I know it wasn't here four years ago. I don't need a bus, but if I did one, I would have to buy a ticket back there and figure out which level to be on to catch it. Probably the bottom level. That makes sense to me, doesn't it? Since that's where the street is. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that took me all of maybe 40 minutes to mosey down here, walk around the new bus station, and mosey back up the street. <laughs> I've got a few more hours to kill. I'll wander around. I know my way around fairly decently. It's not that big of a town, really. All you gotta do is check to see the spires. You know which way to go. Yep. I'm going up this way, up this street. Right there. See the smoke in the room? I'm fairly sure they swung that incense before we came in here in the mass before us because it's still moving. <sighs> and I missed it, but I can smell it. <laughs> the faintest of movements. And if I'd have got here at the nine o'clock mass, I could have seen it. Oh, well. Maybe next time. And there's another. Up there. Of course. Pretty sore. It's almost like in 
finding where's Waldo. St. James is everywhere in this church. Right above the altar. And I'm, I suppose I haven't even seen all of them. going to the train station that was amazing it was going to the noon mass uh, and I got there early so I didn't have to stand in line a block long waiting to get in and you know I, I thought I, I thought that the swinging of the incense had already been done and I was disappointed but it, it was okay it was okay I was fine and then um, when they were doing the blessing, you know, after, just before the end of the service, and we all go up there and, uh, or I didn't receive communion because I'm not Catholic, but I did have my arms crossed and uh, went up there and got, I got a blessing. And I realized I got the blessing from the head guy himself, the archbishop. The archbishop gave me a blessing. Wow. And not only that, they did the swinging of the incense. I nearly fell off the pew. I gasped. And, and when I saw there was starting to swing that just in the center were the ropes and the, and the guys pulling the ropes, it's called the, what, the Bata Fumario. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> if you want to get a better view, a better shot of it, a better video, because I had people's heads in my way and I really couldn't get the shots I wanted, but go online. You can Google, you can Google swinging of the incense of the, uh, in Santiago de Compostela and you, you can get a video and see, see it better. But it was amazing. I kept wanting, I, I, when I left the, 
cathedral. I just wanted to run out and I was shaking. I'm like, I can't believe it. I wanted to just run up to somebody and yell at him. I did it. I saw it. I got blessed by the archbishop and I saw the swinging of the incense. I was just, I went to them and I had, I went to the Elbergay, not that. Yes, the Elbergay I'm staying at tomorrow night, Monday night. And uh, had the kid behind the desk call my Wednesday night um, hostel to reserve a bed because I I can't phone him and, and and I don't speak Spanish so he did it for me and he, when I told him I saw the swinging of the incense he goes I've been here six years and I've never seen it you are so lucky and going tell me about it I. <laughs> I got to see it. I got blessed by the Archbishop himself. Ah. Hey, I can go home now. Happy. <laughs>